Hi guys. So I have a book review for you today. It, it is of Maria Lou's Legend. Um, I can't really tell you how many pages it is because obviously it's on my Kindle. But um, according to this lovely page, um, this came out in 2011 and it says it's pub by the Penguin Group. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but, but um, Legend is basically about um, these two 15 year old kids, uh, Day and June, who are living in a dystopian future and they live in the Republic. Um, they're living in a dystopian version of Los Angeles and they're totally different people. Like June is part of like the wealthier side of society and she's a prodigy because they have these trials when you're 10 years old you have to go take these exams both like mentally physically and you get an interview and they score your exam and based on what you get is where you get placed in the society if you get really low you get sent to labor camps and June is really impressive because she gets a 1500 out of 1500 and that's very rare with the trials and so she's considered a prodigy um, and so she basically gets to go on to the school that teaches these kids about military and all that stuff really er a lot earlier than most kids do and then on the flip side you have Day has failed his trial and he escaped and now he's a wanted criminal because basically what Day, everything Day does, he does for his family which consists of his mother, his older brother John, and his younger brother Eden but all of all of hell basically breaks loose because uh, June's older brother, Matthias, I think I'm pronouncing the name wrong, right? If I'm wrong, please tell me how to pronounce his name down below. Gets killed and they tell June that it was Day that killed her brother. So then she is determined to work her ass off basically to capture Day and get justice for her brother. Um... And that's basically where the story really starts kicking off. But yeah, I loved everything about this book. Um, I'd always been hesitant to read it. I kind of had the feeling like I did with Hunger Games when I first heard all the hype about Hunger Games. I was like really scared to read it because I was afraid I wouldn't like it as much as everyone else seemed to like it. But, and I'm so glad I read this. I've already got the second book on hold in my library because I want to keep reading this series. It's so good. The way, Maria Lou's writing is very very good like it is so great like the way she not only has you actively thinking about you know these characters like you know what they look like or their personalities all that just the way she sets up this world is so beautiful her characters are fantastic um day is awesome and he's just so clever and so smart and he's very loyal that's something I really like and what's interesting is that the world the Republic sees Day as this horrible human being this awful criminal but you as a reader see that Day isn't any of these things that the Republic tells the people that he is he's just this kid who wants to take care of his family because there's a plague going on and his younger brother Eden gets sick with the plague and all he wants to do is get medicine for his younger brother because he wants his family to survive and that's what all he wants is for his brother and his family to be safe and happy and then he also has this girl Tess who and he just found her on the street and they formed a close bond and he really cares about Tess a lot. I feel like it's kind of like a brother-sister relationship. And just that whole dynamic was really sweet to read. And then on the flip side you have June, because each chapter uh, alternates perspectives. It goes from day to June. And June, like, she is very soft and shy and, you know, just a girl. But she's also very strong. Not cold, but she's very strong because she's had all this training in these schools because of her high grade and she's so so clever she's just as clever as day which is one of the reasons why i loved reading the dual perspective because seeing their interactions in the book where because they're both so clever and so very perceptive that they're constantly like studying everything around them and also each other the relationship between june and day 
is very, it's, when you're first reading it, you're really kind of sad, because you know Day didn't kill her brother, and you know June doesn't know that he's Day, and just to see these two, because June goes undercover to, into, like, the slums to try to find out information on Day, and she ends up meeting him, not knowing it's him, because they refer to each other as the boy and the girl in their perspectives. And just the way, just know, you as a reader knowing that, oh my god, she's going to eventually find out that he's Day, and that, you know, Day will eventually find out that she's, you know, part of working with the Republic, and it's just like, oh, you just kind of feel a little sad knowing that, because they're growing so close and you like the relationship they're building, that, that when they finally find out the truth about each other, it's just going to be so horrible, and it was when I read it. But, yeah, I feel like I'm gushing a lot about them. But they're the main characters, so... But some other characters, like I said earlier, Tess is really sweet. She's very handy, and she's not as clever as Day and June, but she's still a very clever girl. Um, and I really loved reading her character. I hope we see her, more of her in the other ones. I'm kind of sad that we didn't get much of June's brother. Um, I would have loved to have read more about him. Um, and Day's family, you don't... You get from his memories, but not really in real life. Um, another character that was very interesting for me to read was Thomas, because from the beginning, I just felt like Thomas was this kind of dorky guy who had a crush on June, who looked up to her, uh, June's brother, and, you know, he was kind of one of those kids that always followed the rules, you know, and even more so now that he was part of the military. So I was kind of taken aback when it was revealed that he is this kind of cold. He's ha he's developed this kind of coldness in him to do his job. I also loved the scene because it kind of really showed his mentality when they're executing all the people in like the town square or whatever. June uh, wanted him to stop and he kind of pushes her out of the way to you know keep her safe and he keeps trying to apologize her later in the story. He thinks that June is angry at him because he shoved her when in reality it's because he killed innocent people and just the fact that he doesn't understand that that's what June's upset about was just really telling to me about his character so I really like that and Marie Lou wrote a great antagonist for both Day and June and Commander Jameson I wasn't really sure about her at the beginning I thought maybe she genuinely did care but she's kind of you know the commander so she's got to have like a cold friend and then as you progress in the story you realize no 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 she's really just that cold and yeah, she was a great antagonist for June and um, Day, and I I just can't wait to read next in Prodigy. Um, I am interested though, real quick, back to the characters, um, to see if Kaede comes back in the next book, if we're going to see more from her, because I did like, she was helpful to Day, and then she did have her troubles with June, so yeah. Also, that's another name. Am I pronouncing that right? Because it's spelled just like Kaede in Inuyasha. It's spelled exactly the same, so I just assumed that's how you pronounce it, Kaede. So, if anyone knows for sure, can someone tell me down below, am I saying it right? Yeah, both June's brother and um, Kaede. Are those, how do you pronounce those? Tell me how you pronounce them. But... Yeah, so overall, I gave this 5 out of 5. Overall, I really loved this book, and if you have not read it, I strongly, strongly recommend it. So, there's the cover. One more time. Oh. And on Goodreads, I looked, and the Prodigy and Champion seem to have real higher ratings than Legends, so that really makes me happy that it seems like it gets better. According, I'm going off the rating system here. But, yeah. I'm sorry this is so long, I just, I can't stop talking about this book. It's so good, and I don't have anyone to talk to. So, yeah, if you've read Legend, please talk to me down below. Don't spoil Prodigy or Champion for me, please. Dear God, do not spoil it. But let me know your thoughts on Legend. And, yeah, and let me know how to say Kaede and Matthias' name. That's how I pronounce them, Matthias and Kaede. I don't know if that's right. Let me know. So, yeah, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Until next time, bye, guys.